Here we are on a glorious day for another newsletter. Let's go over to Danny talking about Ping Ladies Woods. Hi everyone, Danny here again and we've just had a fresh delivery of some new Ping GLE golf clubs and I personally have always played Ping and I enjoy it. There's some great golf clubs and if you'd like to book a fit in just come down and we can get you sorted for them. Thanks Danny for a great video on the GLE2 ladies clubs. So here I am sitting in our brand new buggy. We've got six of them available. Brand new fleet, only £25 a round. So why don't you give them a go? Now we're going to go over to Lewis to talk about motor caddy trolleys. Thank you Rob. You join me over here on the motor caddy ball. Now we've had a new delivery. The new S1 trolleys have been released and there's a new design and let's talk you through it. As you can see, the trolley has a brand new design. A lot sleeker, a lot slimmer, and looks a lot better on the eye. Now, one of the main features of this trolley is one button release. So, at the back here, there's one button, and it simply folds up the whole trolley. As you can see, it looks really sleek. You've got the battery straight at the back here. One of the, Another great feature is you can leave the battery in while charging. So this slot here points up, you can then plug your charger in and go from there. If not, you can simply remove the battery and it's absolutely tiny. So every trolley that's bought comes with an accessory station already built in. If you do buy a trolley from us, we will throw in another free accessory from the wall, such as your scorecard holder, towel, umbrella holder, something like that. If you join me back down by the wheels here, another feature that we've seen on the last couple of years of the M series trolleys are these reversible wheels. What this does, is enables the trolley to fold up a lot smaller, makes it more compact for in the car, makes the trolley look a little bit better. Not very practical out on the golf course, so make sure you reinvert the wheels when you play. Now, if you've owned a motor caddy trolley in the last, say, five years, you'd know that they do offer the easy lock system. Two pins on the bottom of the motor caddy bags, fits nicely into the bottom of the trolley here. No need for a strap. Now, like we spoke about when putting the trolley up, really simple, one move to put the trolley back down. Button pulls forwards, trolley folds down, trolley automatically turns itself off, and you're good to put it straight into the car and go home. So this stunning new Motor Caddy S1 trolley in its compact, sleek design comes in at only 599 with the 18 hole lithium battery and charger. And remember, free accessory station and free other accessory from the motor caddy ball. We'll see you all soon. Thanks Lewis for a fantastic video on the new motor caddy trolley. I'm going to pass you over to Logan who is in the shop talking to you about his video. So we've had a brand new delivery in the shop today. It is the Skechers Go Golf Drive. So these Skechers shoes come in a very casual design with arch fit inner sole technology for the ultimate comfort. The outer sole it's partnered with Goodyear for the ultimate traction on the course. It's fully waterproof and comes in at 89.99. We have loads of different sizes in stock. Come down to Harper and Gorman Pro Shop to grab a pair. Thanks Logan for a fantastic video. I'm now gonna pass you to Lewis so he can talk to you about custom fitting. Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's custom fitting video. And we're gonna be talking about Cobra. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare just a couple of the new Cobra LTDX drivers. So I'm going to try the low spin one and just the standard head. I'm going to compare those. We're going to hit some with the free wood and then some with my iron of choice out of the Cobra range. So that was me hitting a few shots with the Cobra clubs. They felt very nice. The iron especially looked very good. And I'm looking forward to playing with some Cobra stuff this year. If you do want to try out some of the new Cobra stuff, so you've got the wedges, hybrids, drivers, 
We've got it all now. So if you're more than welcome to book in a custom fit, come try them out. We'll also have a demo day coming up. Um, let me just check the date of that. So that's the 31st of May. If you do want to get booked into that, just let us know as well. But come check it out. We've got a few models in the shop here. Come and have a look. They're very, very good. And at the price point they are this year, certainly worth having a look. See you soon. Thank you very much, Lewis, for that great custom fitting video. Now we're over to Alex for his coaching tip of the week. Hi, everyone. Another tip of the week. Now today's tip of the week, or this week's tip of the week, is going to be on stretching before you play and the importance behind it. Now, I've got two warm-ups that you can do. There's one you could call a beginner's warm-up or just a bare minimum. What I want you to do at a bare minimum, and we'll take you through that now. Now, all you need is a golf club. You can do this down at the first tee or the 10th tee. You can do this in the nets or even in the car park. Just be careful of cars. All you need to do, grab a golf club, swing right, and then swing left. Okay, really exaggerate the swings, make sure they're fast to get you warm. Maybe do five swings each way or 10 swings and really just exaggerate, even lift up your foot, really swing through. That's gonna get you nice and warm. Moving on to the more advanced warm up, I've got four stretches for you, to guy, for you guys to try. Let's go on to them. Stretch one, lunges and then turning. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take a lunge, I'm going to hover the lunge, have my club out in front of me, and I'm going to rotate left and right. Come up, change leg. You can do this 10 times on each leg, 5 times, whatever you've got enough time for. Stretch 2, squats. Have your club right out in front of you, feet shoulder width apart, Go right down to the bottom or as far as you can go. Come up, nice and slow. Really work your legs, glutes, all that sort of stuff. Stretch free, wrists. So grab the club about halfway and then rotate round. You wanna do this with both wrists. Really important to really get your arms nice and stretched. Change arm, again, 10. 15 times on each wrist, really gonna warm you up. Fantastic. Stretch four, touching your toes, get your feet nice and wide, hands out, and then go down and touch your toes. You can do this again, 10 times on each foot, get you really nice and warmed up. Give them stretches a go, have a go out on the golf course, see what you get better, come in, let me know, I'll see you next week. Thank you very much, Alex, for that great stretching video. Now we're back over to Alex for the rule of the week. Rules of the week this week is actually going to be on etiquette. So technically, it's not actually rules, um, but I'm just going to take you through some simple etiquette things that we need to do out on the golf course just to make things better for everyone out on the golf course. First of all, hopefully, trolleys will be allowed back anytime soon. Now, when you are using our trolleys out on the golf course, what we need to do is we need to stick to the paths that the greenkeepers create and we also need to avoid taking them anywhere near greens. Okay, this just helps the greenkeepers out, it keeps the course nice for all of us, and it's just a nice thing to do. Not cutting across and uh, just making the grass not look nice. Four! Unfortunately, my ball was heading towards someone, okay, and there's, there's, we need to get rid of the stigma around shouting four. It is there to help people make sure that they can duck and not get hit by a golf ball. So please, when you're out on the golf course, don't be afraid to shout four and give it a big shout. So my golf ball was going towards someone, I gave them a big shout, but also they were walking through the trees. So to help speed of play, I have dropped down another ball and I've hit a provisional. Now I probably will find my first ball, but if for some reason I don't, I can then just walk over to my provisional ball and it helps the speed of golf. When I play golf, we play ready golf. Now ready golf is where I might be the closest to the green and the others are just looking for their ball, but I'm gonna play my shot, even though it's out of turn, I'm gonna play it and then I'm gonna go and help them with their golf. Okay, now that's gonna just help speed up play again because I can chip my ball. Get in, oh, I lipped out. And then I can now walk back and help Lewis find his ball in the trees. I've just hit my approach shot into the green. My ball has finished in the middle of the green, but guess what guys, my ball hit the front of the green. And therefore, because I had quite a lofted club, it's left a pitch mark. 
repair your pitch marks. I see all you guys out there not repairing them, so I want you to repair them. Now, come down, I'm going to show you exactly how we do it. I've got my pitch mark here. Now, a lot of people think you lift. You do not. We push forward. Come round, push forwards. Fantastic. Look at that. Get in there. Oh, like it was never there. Repair your pitch marks. That is etiquette in a nutshell. There obviously are some more, but guys, just think about others when you're out on the golf course and have fun. Here's Ollie. Just grabbed him. Course oh. is looking great. Course maintenance week. How's it been going? It's gone well. Yeah. Results speak for themselves, I think. Sounds going in a treat. Course is looking great, mate. Well Shaping done. Shaping up nicely. Well for done. The, for the new season. Just one last question. Go for it. <laughs> Who's got the better YouTube channel? Pro Shop or New Green Keepers? It's got to be the pro shop, isn't it? So, as you all know, it is Masters Week coming up very soon, and we have got a draw for you to enter. So, some great prizes. First place, £200 voucher to use in the shop. £5 per entry. We will draw you out with a player that's playing on the day before the event, so there's no way you can know who you've got. There's no cheating. We shall find out who wins, and who will win a prize on the vouchers. And also, to mention, on the Sunday the 10th of April, there'll be a Texas Scramble, that we are all playing in the shop. Make sure you sign your team up. There'll be food after, so we can all watch the last Sunday Masters in the clubhouse together. That's the end of another fantastic Pro Shop video. Uh, thanks, Lewis, for mentioning the Masters draw. Make sure you come into the Pro Shop and get your name down. Um, make sure you comment for next week what you want to see, and you can win a free practice session in the tour shed. Bye.